We also want to thank Sister Cheryl Farberson who will be looking forward to our service today. We want to express gratitude to each of you for coming today to lend your love and support to the Truly family. And we want the Truly family to know that we, we love and we care very much about you because of your mother, your grandmother, We will begin this service today by singing in number 124, Be Still My Soul, <coughs> after which Brother Sister Dory Larson will offer the invocation. <coughs>
to have peace and comfort. We are so grateful for all those who loved and served her. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 something here, and that is that the family originally requested that Sister Susan Colbert um, be here today to share a message, and she unfortunately came down with COVID this week, and so out of consideration for each of us, she uh, is not here, but we pray for her and hope that her recovery is quick and complete, and um, hopefully she's able to view the service here, the streaming service we're providing. So, um, Brother Chetberg, also a dear friend of Lillian and the family, has agreed to share a few comments with us this morning, so we'll turn it over to Chet at this time. Those 
authorized to be baptized for the remission of our sins. The reason that we must be baptized is that is an outward sign to the world that we have taken on the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, by those authorized, the laying on of hands to those receive the Holy Ghost, which can help us through the rest of our lives to live the way we're supposed to. The Bible teaches that narrow is the way that leads to heaven. <coughs> For the way to be narrow, there has to only be one way to be baptized. But the world teaches baptism by immersion, sprinkling, and in some cases just the laying down of hands. Yet the Lord teaches that narrow is the way that leads to heaven. There can't be three ways to be baptized, only one. The missionaries also taught about other ordinances that I've never heard of, the temple ordinances, one of which is marriage for all time and eternity, which Lillian also believed in as she and her husband, Les, were so sealed. My wife and I were also sealed for time and all eternity. Romans 8, 17, 16 through 18, Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, Jesus, promised this, and he cannot lie. He promised that everything the Father has, we can have. Just as everything the Father has, Jesus has. The Bible teaches this, but the world does As well as all our records on earth, all the records we take that we write down and someone was baptized, they are also recorded in heaven. And between those two sets of records, we will be judged, along with all our thoughts, our words, and our intentions. If we do the best we can and obey the ordinances, we can enjoy Lillian and less in the hereafter. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Mm -hmm. But now I'd like to say a word or two about, I call her Aunt Lillian, because she reminded me of my mom. I was her home teacher, I think, for about eight years. I visited her all the time and enjoyed those visits. <laughs> I told her about my life and she told me about hers. And she had a wicked sense of humor, <laughs> as I think everybody knows. She was one of the most peaceful people I knew because she had no doubts as to what was going to happen after she died. And she was content with the Lord, way the Lord had helped her and provided for her in this world. I gave her rides to church the last five years anyway. And because of that, she saw a few I was made it to church. There were times I would have just as soon laid in bed and skipped church because I didn't go to bed on time. But I knew I always had to pick up Lillian, and she never kept me waiting. No matter how early I was, she was there waiting for the ride. So I could never just stay in bed and pretend I was too sick for church. Because she counted on me, and I counted on her as a friend. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yeah, um, I have a few comments I'll make um, before we close.
told you today, but we're going to um, take a few minutes here, maybe up to 10 minutes maximum here. For any of you that maybe have some thoughts or memories uh, you'd like to take some time to share right now. So for the next 10 minutes here, we'll, we'll provide that opportunity to you. So come on up here if you'd like to. She was the mother of all of us, 
being one of the first members of our board, and I just love her dearly. I say this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before Rosie gets up oh. there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just said, go ahead. Um, I used to be, um, Tara and I were her, when it was visiting teacher, and then we became her um, ministering sisters. And so we asked, I asked her, did she want us to come and visit every month like we did? And if she wanted a lesson anymore, or if we just come and talk? Oh no, I want a lesson every month, she'd say. So we'd always had to try to come with things. Then when COVID hit, I made sure to write her notes at least twice a month and send them to her. And then I was always trying to find things for her to do so, but getting her word search and everything. And I found out about three months ago, she hated doing word search. <laughs> <laughs> She let us know, let me know that she didn't like doing word search. And here I thought I was being such a good ministry sister to her. But um, Lillian was a wonderful person. We used to tell, she used to tell stories of playing hide and seek with her dog at the house when she lived in the house. And she also, we both loved watching birds. And so we talk about birds all the time too. And I had a bulldog. So we always had to have stories about Zeus, because she liked to hear about him, too. So I truly loved her, and I'm so grateful that she was in this ward that I got to meet her and get to know her. And I, I thank the family so much for this, that we were able to remember her. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Rosie Collins, and I'm a member of the church here, of course, and I just want to tell the family how blessed, how blessed you are to have had her in your life and to have her bring you into this world and, and take care of you. I don't know what she was like. I don't know if there was another side of her that maybe could handle a fly swatter really well, but she she was it is has always been just sweet and loving and everybody kind of comes and they sit in their certain spot in this in this room of church and she was either over there or she was up here if there wasn't any room over there so you can always count on looking right on and she used to be on the end right now where rose is sitting and um it was always such a blessing to know that she was here with her big smile and you could just kind of count on her being here all the time she has always been just a support for everything that's ever been going on. Her. She's always showed up at everything and been such a sweet person to us. And that sense of humor of hers, yeah, that's <coughs> really something to cherish. So I, I am going to miss her so much, but I know she is here. And we have been taught that those who are on the other side, the other side is right here. They're not that far from us. And she is alive, and she is well, and she is young, and she is running around up there, getting everything ready that she's supposed to be doing, helping, I don't know if she's preparing to help with the second coming or what she's busy doing up there. Probably Ari has visited everybody that she's, she knows on the other side, and she is looking out after you. She really is watching this all Why Why don't you say? <laughs> Watch how you behave, because She'll probably meet you first, and she might have something to say at this point. So really, you know, <coughs> be good while you're here. What a blessing. Don't, I know, it, I have lost loved ones that are very close. And, and, my, and another reason why I always love Lillian is because my mother's name is Lillian. And I know that, don't, I, I know you have to go through the grieving process. But hang in there, because... She's, she is ready and she's waiting for you when your time comes and she's rooting for you and she's there to support you and you will be her. I have felt that with my loved ones who have passed. They are close to us. She is. It's not she was. She is. And 
So I pray for you to, you know, I pray for you as you go through your grieving process. And pray that you'll just remember her with all the smiles and the love that she gave to everybody. She sure lighted up our ward. What a special gift she has been to all of us here. And I am so grateful to the Lord that, that she crossed my path. And I was able to have all that time with her. All of us were. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now there was no means to reclaim man from this fallen state which man 